Look at this, a Black Series HQ-17 back in stock. The HQ-17 is a nice sized trailer of these off-road series. One of the smallest floor plans they have in a tandem axle. And it's got the bunks in the back, so it sleeps a family of four, five, six, depending how tightly you want to crowd it on the dinette. Two single bunks in the back, a dinette table bed, and the front bed. Black Series. If you're new to the Black Series trailers, you've got to come check these out. They are one of the most aggressive off-road trailers to hit the North American market. There are now some copycat designs out there. Lots of Indiana mass-produced trailers that make them look like off-road trailers just by jacking them up a little and putting knobby tires on. But this Black Series is the original tough stuff. A lot of unique designs on the Black Series trailers. And let's do a walk around and point some of those out. For starters, it's an all galvanized frame. Because galvanized RV trailers are so rare, and they stick out, and dealers, I guess, want to have them matching the rest of their trailers, they do paint over the galvanize and paint the hitch, so it's a nice black hitch to match other RVs. But if you take a good look, you can see some places where the galvanizing does show through. And it is a galvanized frame. Power tongue jack. Plus parking brake. The hitch itself needs to be looked at. Now I've got a coupler lock on here, so don't let that red coupler lock deceive you. But this is an off-road friendly hitch oscillates sideways and front to back on this rubber torsion. Don't worry, a lot of people say, well, what kind of hitch do you need to tow that? We supply you with the hitch. There's a clevis hitch that comes with the trailer. We, we supply the heavy solid bar receiver you need to go with it. So all you need is your regular two by two truck socket and you're good to go. We supply the rest. So you've got the power tongue jack and a wheel jack. Use one or the other or both for more stability. Front storage compartments. Taking a look at the latches. The latch style on your compartments is a good indicator already of how this trailer is built different. So there you've got two cherry can holders simply because lots of people want to bring gas cans along as well. You can strap them in there, cr cradles them nicely. Two cherry cans fit in there and it's separate from your RV. It's vented out the bottom, drain holes out the bottom. It's in front of your actual RV part. So even if you have a little bit of gassing off odors, you won't see that, smell that inside your trailer. And the other one has your two propane tanks in there with room for other stuff. If you wanna throw a sewer hose in there, whatever you wanna store. You've got rock glider bars all around to protect your trailer. You've got stabilizer jacks that are amazingly heavy duty. Not your typical crank downs. You drop, it's a drop leg jack and it really does stabilize the trailer. Side storage compartments, waterproof. See how the rubber lip comes out over top. A rubber storage lid. And inside you've got a breaker panel box. Wow. Who else puts a breaker panel box outside? It's just like a residential wiring. There you can see pass through storage area. Hot water heater, furnace vents. Taking a look inside underneath. Let's see if the camera will cooperate under here. Got to see the suspension. That's where the Black Series really shines. The off-road coil independent suspension. You've got metal below all the tanks to protect that. The outdoor shower is amazingly typical. Would you believe it? The outdoor shower, really nothing actually that strange or odd. That's about the only thing on this trailer that matches everything else that's built in, you know, mainstream Indiana mass produced. The outdoor shower is normal. The rest of the trailer is not. That's a good way to say it. The Black Series trailer, the only normal part is the outdoor shower. Checker plate, 
right up nice and high to protect again mud flaps are standard two spare tires Plus a bike rack and it's heavy duty enough to actually handle a bike rack. Galvanized again. Look at how it's gusseted, supported down there. License plate holder itself. Wow, look at that. A big piece of tin for you to put your license plate on with two license plate lights. And it's removable for whatever reason. It's on that socket tube. Same as this, so you can pop those out. If you don't want the two spare tires on the back, there's a cargo rack you can put on instead. You can pop those out, that whole spare tire carrier. You can remove those and you've got the two by two sockets. You've got tow hooks there. You can remove those as well to put on different cargo rack options. Sewers dump straight out the back. And again, metal encased around your tanks to protect that. These are the two bunk beds in the back. Lots of outdoor lighting, LED light bars. Should have pointed that out on the side here as well. Out the back and those two windows open up for the two bunks. Amazing rear lights. Power awning. There's an outdoor work surface area for whatever you want to plug in, maybe small appliances. You've got the 110 plug there. So you can plug in your toaster, your coffee perk if you want that outside. As far as an outdoor kitchen, I wish I could slide it out all the way to show you how impressive it is. But unfortunately, it parked in here too tight. So I'll just get you a little of a preview. That's about half your kitchen slid out. There's your sink in behind there. This table flips out. So you've got work uh, area to work on that. And a stove. And a utensil drawer. Who else puts a utensil drawer in their outdoor kitchen? And everything on smooth glide roller glides of course that didn't go in because it's a latch and I'm gonna have difficulty doing that with one hand but there you go that's a lock to lock it out lock it in glides very very easily outdoor kitchens are often something to wrestle with this just pushes right in those are the accessories that come with the trailer so your sewer hose your water hose this is your clevis hitch that comes with it along with the receiver solid bar receiver that we supply level indicator wheel jocks everything you need the entry door the screen door there is about as pet proof bear proof raccoon proof as you can get everything protected by this heavy duty grid over top of the mesh so nothing's breaking in through your screen if you're sleeping with the screen door open or with your main door open for the night. Power entry step. Stepping inside. There's your indicator. Solar panels are charging. Front bed, kitchen area, dinette, and rear bunks. Skylights that open up not just a skylight to look out you can open it right up pop your head out the top if you like close the screen of course so the bugs can't get out close the sunscreen um sorry i'm not latching and latching that correctly but there's a sunscreen there as well cupboards are all push release there's all your gadgets for your remotes in there stove cover and sink cover TV all the windows are huge absolutely huge windows and they all have that same sunscreen bug screen type that the top skylight does those will clip together you can put them both up, both down. Cool windows. Shirt closets on both sides, storage up above. 110 receptacles. The kitchen cabinets are so clean looking with no knobs. You just simply press, open, everywhere you want to open. Get in under the sink. Two-way fridge and freezer, propane and electric. And 
There's your battery indicator showing your panels are keeping it at 13.4. Of course, solar is included. It's an off-road trailer after all. Ready to go to the moon with this amazing headquarters for the HQ, of course, HQ-17, your headquarters off-road. Another spot where you can see where your power level's at. Your tank indicators are all on those digital readouts and your main fuses that'll pop if you overload the system and you can reset them easily there. More of these amazing cabinets that you push and release. There's your top bunk bed. Nice big wide window, bottom bunk. Drawer for storage down below. All in one waterproof toilet and shower. None of this wallpaper on the walls of an all-in-one shower that is all plastic waterproof material. Air conditioning. And a look towards the front. That's the HQ-17. A bunk model, tandem axle, 17 foot floor plan. Come check it out at Long Haul in Listowel, your Ontario Black Series dealer.